Let's chop it up with your boy Zaz. <laughs> Hey, uh, you ready? No shit, let's you. Hey, 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 yeah, hey. Let's chop it up, let's chop it, let's chop it up, let's chop it, yeah, let's chop it up, let's chop it up, let's chop it up, let's chop it. I want you to go listen to my guys' this, okay? Let's chop it up. It's fucking beautiful. I'll chop who the fuck up if you don't go listen to it, you understand? Now listen, G Casino doing his debut fucking thing on there too. You're welcome. All right, we got G Casino here. Welcome to Let's Chop It Up. You know what I mean? What's going on, G Casino? What's happening, brother? What up, what up, what up? <laughs> what's going Pleasure on? Pleasure to be here. There you go, there you go. So so what's Chilling, going on man. with G Chilling. Casino, man? What, what's happening right now? What's going on? Just dropped that Casino is Dead album. It's been doing real good. Uh, getting a lot of streams on Spotify. Um, you know what I'm saying? Uh, then I'm, I'm doing this life after dead with DJ Shay. Uh, and he just passed away. God bless. And, uh, but, uh, you know, it's almost done. We had two cuts left and I'm just finishing them up and I'm going to drop it in October. Nice. I can't wait for that, man. I'm a fan, brother. I'm a fan. And, uh, I appreciate you. And I know that a lot of people are waiting for that second one. Cause you went berserk on that first album, man. I appreciate it, man. Yeah, it was. I love that album. It was. It was good. My my brother, uh, Dead Beats, uh, produced a lot of it. My boy, I Rush. came out phenomenal. I got, I got so many people. It's like my baby. I can't wait to drop it. Okay, there you go. There you go. So tell me, out of out of all the people that you dealt with and that you produced, you know, that produced you, right? Yep. Um, which people can you say that, man, that was a crazy experience. I know every, I know everything is an experience, but like that particular artist or producer that you worked with, that you were like, wow. I mean, honestly, me and my brother got this thing. I mean, we just, just mesh, you know what I mean? Like his shit is just, it's just, it's all, it's everything, you know, to me. And we're like gangstar. You know what I'm saying? Like, like we just, just mesh. Like I love his beats. He loves my style. So we just work well together. You know, we've been working together for so long. It's just, you know, it's like second nature. Um, my boy, I Reich, we grew up together too, man. He's like a genius on them beats. Like he, he just brings it to a whole next level. Um, so, I mean, those are my main producers. Shay, of course, man, like yeah. Shay was out of this world with, with his craft. I mean, I mean, it's it's a shame. It's a shame because he, he, me and Shay, you know, a lot of times we didn't see eye to eye on a lot of stuff, but he pushed you hard. You know what I mean? And and you need that. You know what I mean? No no holding back shit, just real. And and Shay was Shay was that. So just real. All man. three of them. Yeah, rest in peace, man. Yeah, definitely. You could really tell, man. You had a lot, you know, that you wanted to say, man, on that first album, and I think you conquered it, man. I think you really did. I was listening I to the album that. again today, and I was like, wow. You could tell every single song, like you said, mesh. Yep. Everything, everything was, like, well put together. I mean, I was like, wow, that's that was that was, that was was pretty good, man. So let me ask you. So what do you, uh, besides the, uh, the album that's coming out, do you got anything coming out, any features that you've been doing? Do you've been doing a lot of features? Um, I, you know what I, I do, I do a couple features. I got block Lord shot the block Lord. Um, I just did a feature for him. Um, 
he's like with Flea Lord and them. A piece of Flea Lord. Oh yeah. Um, Flea Lord. Honestly, I've been uh, working just on my album. I, I, I people just been uh, hooking me up with features. To be honest, I'm just trying to really push this hard. Uh, Ricky Hyde, um, you know, he was like the first one I worked with. Uh, shout out to Ricky. He's a gem. We were in Miami. He's a fucking. He's a boss. I love that dude. And uh, <laughs> we had a good time. And, uh, but yeah, man, I'm just, I'm trying to work. I'm actually working with Jojo Pellegrino right now. I mean, I oh, loved man. him forever, dude. And, and he, he hit me up cause I hit him up like, yo, I want you on the album. And he, and he was like, I was just going to hit you up. And he, <laughs> and we were chopping up. He's a funny motherfucker. <laughs> he's like, he's like, uh, he's like, you know what? He goes, I don't even care if you rap, dude. He's like, I was just watching your video where you, where you said fucking, I love to fucking eat. That's what I love. And he goes, I knew I wanted to work with you right then. <laughs> Listen, and the uh, promos that you have, all right, let me tell you something. To me, you got, I'm going to say it, man. You you got to have the best promos. I, I'm, I mean, it's insane. You caught it. So, I said yeah, bro, that. You know, I, I put out that the promos that you've been putting out, they're insane. I, love I appreciate them. that, man. So are you are you, you gotta put good shit out, are you the one that, that puts all that out there like that? Because you're doing an amazing job putting that thing out, man. Yeah, yeah, I am. I'm behind all that shit. So I I make sure, you know, it's just up to par. My boy uh Skillavision, uh he 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 does all the videos. Um He's a genius at that shit. He did the Italian roulette joint, came out amazing. And uh but yeah, I, I do all the promos and shit. Man, that's that's that is amazing, brother. That is definitely amazing. So you know how to put yourself out there, man. So let me ask definitely. you, how do you feel about the Buffalo movement, man? Because I'm originally from New York, right? So to see yeah. that, people from Buffalo representing like that it's it's crazy oh, it's the best show so you got i mean we've been doing it. this we've been doing this for so long I, know. I mean you know i i was with buff city shay benny uh conway when he was canon uh we were all in, in shay's studio ago, grinding and we all, I mean, I took time off, you know what I'm saying? Had kids, you know, they, and, and Shay and them, they just kept grinding, yo. You know what I mean? And, and shit popped and I was fucking excited, man. Like, I'll never forget the, the, I seen it with signing the fucking Eminem. I was a fan like everyone else. Like, holy shit, I can't believe it. And, uh, you know what I'm saying? Shay hit me up and was like, dude, let's get, you know what I'm saying? You got to get back on it. And I was like, oh, I'm down. How about, so, man? You know what I'm saying? We just started working again and. It was it was it was great, man. I felt like I was fucking eighteen again. You know what I mean? And it's been great ever since. I mean, now I'm I'm so focused in it. It's like I never I never stopped. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, uh, so it's fucking yeah, it's amazing. Do you feel like so? Even though you put out that first effort, right? Do you feel more pressure now, or or do you feel com comfortable and confident? Because of where you're at right now, because you're you're in a hot spot right now, as they say, right? Yep. So how do you? I feel, feel comfortable. I feel comfortable as fuck. I'll be honest. Like that first shit, I just wanted to put out just to just to show everybody. You know what I'm saying? Like what I got. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I, you know, I I was getting back into it. You know what I'm saying? Getting my groove back. You know what I'm saying? Getting my shit back. And this album is is fucking off the hook. I mean, it's just crazy. And uh. And I mean, I'm making, I'm on my th third album after this already. I'm just working. I just stay working and grinding. That is and, uh, Shit is coming amazing. That is great. Album is sick. Great. So do you feel like because of the pandemic, you feel like you were stack, you were stackpiling your, uh, your material, getting yourself ready? I mean, I'll be, I'll be honest, man when the pandemic hit and I, I think this happened with a lot of artists, sh you got blocked, right? Not even writer's block. Just, it, it was like a mental block. Like you would think like you're trapped in the crib. You could just 
make music all day. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you would expect that. And it, I'll, I'll be honest. I, I'd say for 90% of, of, of every rapper I know just wasn't like that. You know what I'm saying? Like it, 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 we were all going through it. You know what I'm saying? For a couple good months. So it took me a minute to get back into, you know, even wanted to, to make it. Cause everything was so fucking crazy. And I think a lot of, a lot of people did that. Yeah, that was you know tough. What I'm saying? We're still going through it. Yeah, but, yeah. You know, yeah for real. I mean, in the know, beginning, it's though. Not, <laughs> it's not as crazy. It was, I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> was me, man. I was insane. So do you have any features that, that you want to break uh, on the show today, like that you're going to be, that you want to be coming up? You want to give us like a surprise to let the people know what's going to be coming? I mean, this album is sick, man. This album has Benny, The Butcher, Mm. Jojo Pellegrino, mm. Lindsey Barlett, uh, Vino Lamano, Keen from BSF, Ricky Hyde from BSF. I mean, this album is fucking off the chain, man. Oh, this man. fucking, this shit is it's not crazy. so. I'm excited, man. <laughs> crazy, man. I'm excited for you, brother. And I seen that, I was like, oh, I appreciate man, it. you come out with the new stuff, it's going to be crazy, man. I got to get him on there, man. So where do you see yourself in a few years? You know, I mean, honestly, I would say in a year or two, I see my, I see Flea Lord status, right? Like, I, I love Flea Lord, man. Yo, Yo. I mean, for real, like that motherfucker, he's a boy, he's dropping albums every fucking two, two weeks, but I feel his drive. And I, and I, and, and, and when I started with Shay, I feel like Flea wasn't, he was kind of like in between, like, should I rap? You know, Prodigy was still alive at the time. He was kind of, you know what I'm saying, where he was with him. And then Prodigy died. And I think that pushed him, man, just to do what he's supposed to do. And I feel like in a year and a half, two years, I'll be I'll be at that status. And Flea will be fucking on the top of the fucking world. And hopefully in another year, that's where I'll be. And life's good, you know? Yeah, man. I love the uh, the love you guys have for each other. You know, I, I see that. You know, there's a lot of love in Buffalo, man. You know what I'm saying? With the rappers. Yeah. Which yeah. is kind of uh is kind of wild. And it and it always comes back to Shay. Right? Yo, know, I and, and the truth is, man, all of us know each other because of Shay. I mean Shay and, and, and you know, I mean, you know how you look at people sometimes, like you know, you don't know their motives here and there. You know what I'm saying? Like Shay, Shay had his own way of doing things, and you could question things some some ways. You know how you know how it is, but at the end, when he passed, bro, I gotta say that he was the king of the city, man. Like he really bring us all together, and really just wanted to put Buffalo on the map. At the end of the day, like that dude really, really worked. I mean, his ass off for thirty fucking years just to put us on the map, bro. You know what I mean? And he wasn't gonna let. Anyone he worked with, he wasn't going to let anyone go. Like, you want to do this, put in the work. I'm going to let you know how to do it. I'm going to let you know what to do. This is what it is. Take it or leave it. You know what I mean? He was just real like that. Mm -hmm. And if you took it, you know what I'm saying, you're going to be where you're at. If you don't, then you're going to be where you're at too. You know what I mean? And, yeah. But he, he just loved Benny, man, too. Like, he, like he, he always loved Benny. He always had a place in his heart. He, he always told him he was the best. And, you know, I mean – you need someone like that telling you that shit. I mean, Benny's been doing this, you know, 20 years, dude. I mean, you know, you know how hard it is to fucking rap for 20 years. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's rough, man. That's rough, man. <laughs> you, know what I'm saying? you know what I mean? That like, and rough, just man. have someone pushing you and, 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 and making you feel like you're the greatest, even though you ain't made it yet. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and we all struggling. You know how it is. I mean, Fuck, man, it's hard. Your girl looking at you, motherfucker, you're 35, you're still rapping. You know what I'm saying? Like, the fuck out when you ain't got shit. I mean, it's hard to push through, but they did. And, you yeah. know, that's they that's all, it, man. That's all the shape. They reaping, man. They reaping all that all that hard work they reaping in now, man. The whole, bu the whole Buffalo, man, the whole Buffalo standing up right now, man. Proud of you guys, man. And the, out that. the outside also is, is, is representing you guys too, man. So, you know. Definitely, man. So, any other videos uh, that you're going to be dropping for, for, the, for the new effort? Yes. November 24th, I got my boss dropping featuring Heem. Shit's crazy, funny as mm -hmm. hell. Mm -hmm. uh, shit's going to be good. So, that's dropping the 24th. Look out for that. And uh, then after that, the project in October. 
the project in October. Okay, perfect, perfect. So are you working with other artists like under you or are you focusing right now only on your own, your own personal stuff? I'm just focusing on me right now, to be honest. I, I ain't really fucking with no one right now. Um, you know, we had a group back in the day, Local 210. Um, I'm trying to get an album back, you know what I'm saying, with them. Um, but right now I'm just focused, man, just trying to trying to do some crazy shit, and that's all I can do. Um, you know, if, if shit pops, you know what I'm saying, if people want to put the work in, man, you know what I'm saying, it's it's here, let's, let's work. Time to roll, right? It's time to roll, man. That's right. That's yeah, right, man. So, so if you could tell any upcoming artists or your fans anything, what would you tell them? Stay consistent. If you want it bad enough, it'll happen. Just stay consistent, man. Just keep doing what you're doing. I mean, people are going to hate. You know, not everyone's going to love your shit. But just stay consistent with what you do, man. And that's, that's the best advice I can give anybody. Yeah. You know what I mean? And shit works out how it works out. But at least if it don't, you gave it your all, you stay consistent with it, and something will come out of it. There you go. You know what I mean? So what was a crazy story, like a cool story that you could tell us today um, from you being around everybody, from the Griselda camp, your camp, and everything like that? What's a story that you could, that you could break here today to let us know? Oh shit, man! I, I, it was funny. I was actually, I was actually just in Atlanta with Shay. Uh, we were laying the uh, the last joint with Benny, and uh, so uh, <laughs> we're fucking there. We're at the making the band house, and City Boy shot the City Boy, City Boy. He was fucking. Uh, his, there was some bitch there, man, and she and she was just a scandalous bitch, right? Oh man! And she was trying to like. Uh, she, they heard she was trying to um, try and do uh, like submit paperwork on the Buffalo kids name and everything. And like, she was trying to get over on him. Right. So whatever. So she, I think city boy fucked her. I don't know what happened, but this bitch took a shit in Shay's bathroom. Okay. Dropped a fucking superstar gem in that motherfucker. And no one fucks with Shay's shit. All right. Don't, don't be shitting in Shay's bathroom. Don't be going in his room. There was a log in that motherfucker. They couldn't flush it. I heard they had to cut it with a butter knife. Oh. <laughs> Shit was, yo, Shay was so mad. This bitch got thrown the fuck out in the morning. They were fucking, get the fuck out of here. She's screaming. It was a, bro, we were dying. It was crazy. But, I mean, no, you know, <laughs> it's fucking, we, I got it on tape. I'm going to put it on the, the back fucking, uh, oh. we had the camera. We had the cameras there. We were shooting everything. Oh, and fucking, man. I'm going to put it in some documentary shit. There you go. There you go, bro. There you uh, go. For real. For real. Oh, that funny. is funny, man. That is funny. So, <laughs> so you know, G, G Casino is out there every day, you know, doing his thing. You know, so how how do you stay healthy? Like, what do you do health-wise to, uh, you know, to keep it moving every day? Every day I get up. Uh, about 7 a.m., uh, walk with my son, take him for a nice walk in the morning, uh, come back with him. Uh, I got one of them fucking mannequin dudes you you beat up. Um, he loves when I beat him up. He just sits there with a, a grin on his face. Uh, you know what I'm saying? He loves it. I, I beat that dude up for an hour. He loves it. He just sits there and watches. You know, we lift weights. And uh, and that's it, man. Just stay healthy every morning. I'm on that, uh, like, I stay on that 16-8 kind of diet. Okay. Uh, don't eat, you know, 16 hours, eat eight. That shit works for me. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like, I've been, I've been, I've been staying healthy, so I feel good. So that's, that's, that's been working out for me. That's, that shit is. Uh, that's perfect, oh, man. Yeah, it's, it's been like, without the gyms and shit, you know, I used to go to the gym, but now, fuck it, I'm just trying to maintain for what I can, you know? You got to look good when you're in them videos of the cannon, you know what I mean? That's right. That's right. <laughs> Eugene Tackleberries. I'm fucking. <laughs> that's what's up, man. Well, yeah, no G doubt. Casino, man, you know, we appreciate you stopping by today, man. Thank you for coming by. Let's chop no it up. It's G Casino, you know what I mean? Straight from Buffalo. Got the new album coming out. So you want to take true. us out with something, man? Like, what do you want to take us out with? Whatever you want to take us out with, you know what I mean? 
I just want to say, man, I appreciate all the love. Uh, check out that new album. Uh, October is going to be crazy. Uh, definitely check out the new video on uh, November 24th. And if you ain't seen uh, Tell You Roulette is on YouTube, uh, check that shit out and definitely stream Casino is Dead. Download that shit all day long. Nice, nice. That's what I'm talking about. So, yeah, everybody, that's G Casino. Stop by, you know what I mean? Gave us an update on what's going on with them. And that's on Let's Chop It Up. All right, G. Peace. Appreciate the love, brother. Peace. Stay on there, fam. Stay on there, all right?